So welcome back to some more Devil May Cry 3 last time. We made our way to the inner sanctum of uh, this place, which is pretty much the basement. And uh, with minimal casualties, at least. And before we go into that room, there is a... I don't want to touch it. There's a white orb right there. I'm actually going to use DT to heal off a little bit of our health before we go in there. Since we're probably not going to be touching that white orb after this fight. So, hey, might as well take advantage of it. And, uh, you know, get our DT back. And, yeah, it's most of our health. And most of our DT. It's fine. This fight is gonna suck. Do not feel bad if you use the holy waters. Or any items here. This is a notorious fight in this game as well. Just warning you that right now. this working is there something missing must more blood be shed you seem to be in a bad mood Dante so my mother's amulet is the key that unlocks the door to the demon world <laughs> good plan pop just the opposite actually Originally, it was the key to the demon world, but was given to humans as a gift. It doesn't matter to me one way or the other. More importantly, I've come all this way. I'm sure you have time for one more game, right? Why not? After all, we share the same blood. I'll just use more of yours to undo Daddy's little spell. So, you want a piece of me, little? Okay, bro. Come and get it. If you can. Let's do it. Virgil 2. This fight's not technically as bad as the first Virgil fight. Uh, okay, bad example. If you know what you're doing, he's gonna be primarily using Beowulf, and then he'll swap to Yamato after half health. But that is not what's dangerous about this fight. We'll see once we get to half health, or whenever he decides to do- Okay, I, was, I forget, I have Trickster, start using Trickster, you moron. By the way, Virgil is not weak to anything, that's why I'm just sticking for Rebellion. And yeah, here's the dangerous part, he has Devil Trigger too, And he does not care! So yeah, I'm just gonna try to stay away from him and get some pot shots when I can. So yeah, you can knock him out of DT. It's very difficult. Uh, he knocked himself out, actually. So basically, when he does the, uh, well, fly up in the air move, you can punish him by doing a Helm Breaker. And then, trying to watch what he does. There we go. You can also punish him by doing a Stinger. I thought he was not going to turn towards me. I could DT too, buddy. And yet, Virgil's Devil Trigger in this game is so cool. Helm break. Boom. Do remember too, his DT works the same way as yours, which means he has a lot of resistance and he gets health back over time. So you want to be quick about how much damage you're doing and when you're doing damage. There we go. He's going to back off. And now he swapped to Yamato. There we go. So he's going to start using both Beowulf and Yamato now. Double trigger fight. Okay, did not think that was going to happen. So yeah, he is pretty uh, predictable when he's in Beowulf because he only does like two or three moves. I, okay, I am really sucking at this. Let's players curse. Because usually I'm not this bad at this fight. Jump. There's Yamato. And it's pretty much the same moves that he had when he had Yamato before. Ow, I should have dodged that but he will freely swap between Yamato and Beowulf. Which is annoying because he does not change his DT form when doing that. Okay, that was just peachy. Just try to punish on that. I don't know why I keep not locking on. There we go. But yeah, Beowulf is so cool on Virgil. I love it so much. End you with guns.
Sorry, but this is no place for a little girl. So beat it. Shut up! You forced him into this! Is that what you think? Foolish girl. Bravo! Bravo! I never dreamed that things would go so smoothly. Well done, everyone. Well done. You. Don't be a bad girl, Mary. <laughs> Or you can expect a spanking from Daddy later. Just as gonna spank you, but spank you on the bar. Insane buffoon! I don't know where you came from, but you don't belong here. Now leave! <laughs> Zowie, that was close. But you've taken quite a trouncing today, haven't you, Virgil? You could have chopped me into confetti by now if you were in tip-top condition. Damn you! You have lost. Because you underestimated humans. What's going on? Good girl. Pure and innocent. Just like your mother. You bastard! It's time for your spanking, my dear. Spell didn't break. Mm, Virgil. You have the two amulets and Sparta's blood. You had everything you needed to unleash the evil. I told you before. I don't like anybody who has a bigger mouth than mine. You are wounded and weak. <laughs> Even I can do <laughs> this to you. Two amulets, a set of Sparta's blood. Now, I need one more key. He sacrificed two things to suppress the tremendous force of this tower. His own devil's blood and a mortal priestess. I needed you in whose body flows the same blood as the sacrificed woman. His spell cannot be undone without your blood. It was quite a ride, you know. <laughs> if any of you had died before getting here, our little plan would have gone to waste. Ha! Therefore, my job was to make you battle each other in order to weaken you. But at the same time, I had to guide you here and make sure that you were kept alive. I even went so far as dressing like a complete idiot. <laughs> it's time for bed, Mary. You can visit your dear mother. <laughs> Whoa! Try me. It's time for the clown to bow out, Arkham. Dude, the show's over. Impressive. I expected nothing less from the Devil's descendants. But aren't you forgetting something, Virgil? The spell is broken. What do you think will happen next? Let's welcome chaos.
Yeah, that's kind of bad. And the whole time Jester was Arkham. Not really surprising, but hey. But, oh my god, I screwed up on the time really badly. Wow. Ah, uh, well, let's uh, just go to the next mission. We'll just ignore that. Finish him off. Well, you might as well forget it, because you're no match for him. Regardless, I must go. I had a chance to stop him before, but I couldn't. I'm responsible for all this mess. Responsible? Does it bother you that much? He's my father. Besides, who else can undo what he's done? A demon like you wouldn't understand. Father and family, huh? Well, I'll go too. But you better hurry if you don't want me to take all the credit. Yep, the tower is fully arisen. Now let's go to the sky. So a lot of things has changed with the tower now that it's, well, raised by a crap ton. Before anything, uh, I need to go and find where it is. We basically gotta go and find where Virgil was before he fell off. Because, yep, there it is. Floating for us is Beowulf. Yes. These things are sick. They're basically, um... Oh, well, Ifrit from uh, Devil May Cry 1. But you have a lot more options with it. You got Fireball. And you can charge it. Boom. And then also, the uppercut. And yeah, if you do it quickly, I believe... Oh, okay, no. So yeah, uh, I'm trying to remember... Oh, right, right, you have to upgrade it. That's right, that's right. There should be an, uh, a tower, uh, a statue thing somewhere around here. Back here, I think. Yep, there it is. So yeah, Beowulf is awesome. And I'm really excited to start using these things finally. We get straight level 2. This is just a straightforward punch by going uh, forward and attack. Learn. Beast uppercut. That's that uppercut, uh, well, we could do back in normal attack, not swordmaster attack. For another uppercut. And Rising Dragon. So if you do the combo and then hit it again, you'll spin into the air. Like a dragon. Also, Air Hike. You always have to have Air Hike. So now... Yeah. Beowulf is really good, and there is something very specific, um, well, that speedrunners would know. Which is the enemy step trick with it. Let's go over here. 
because we have a combat adjudicator. There we go. And when you're in the air with Swordmaster, you could do like a weird hit thing like that. There's our blue orb for this mission, which is more health. I'll show it once we go into this room. Uh, okay, I guess not. When there's enemies, hopefully. Back up here. This mission should be really short. We're basically just backtracking. So let's head through here. And yeah. We're... This is literally just the old stuff that we were going through. Like, this is way, way back. Like, this is the vestibule we were just at before. And we head through here. Put on Trickster, because I think I remember what's coming up. Also, I think this gives you another chance for the secret mission. Up. Uh, oh. Oh. Okay, yeah, this is the secret mission. Okay. Let me, uh, let me just, uh, leave this, because, th like I said, this is just another chance for this. Actually, did we do the, yeah, we did, yeah, we did. All right, let them go, let them go. Trying to remember if this was, like, a different one or not, because I didn't know if they changed, but, yeah, no, this is the same one. I guess it gives you another chance if you need to do it. Let's uh, head on over here. Uh, do we go, no, that's where we grabbed that thing. That's right. Go over here. And hopefully, these are enemies. Nope, these are not enemies I can show this off with. Remember these guys? Yeah, now they're going to be annoying as hell. So basically, they're going to go up against a wall and not let them, uh, well, not let us hit them. Basically, just have to wait for an opening that they give us. So there we go. I hate these enemies because in Dante Must Die, they can double trigger. Let's go to Beowulf. Uh, there we go. And they will try to just attack you if you jump over them, so. You are technically faster than them as they turn, but it's just a lot more convenient if you wait for them to attack. Can I turn the camera, please? Oh, there's two of them. Okay, ow. I'm trying to get away from them so I can do this. Or not. Okay. You know what? Scr what are you doing? Okay. Ri I hate these things. All right. I'm just going to double trigger so I can get behind them. There we go. Okay. Now it's your turn, jackass. So yeah, they'll just keep backing away from you so they can just hit you with the shield. Oh my god. Oh, I hate these things. I hate them so much. Alright. Dodge out of that. Go up behind you. Oh my god, the hit reg. What is the hit reg? Jesus. There we go. God damn. That's what I'm saying. I hate those enemies. Ugh. And we gotta go through here. Don't worry, there's no other secret missions in this mission, so we don't have to worry about anything. I'm really waiting to get some enemies we can kind of clown on with this, because, uh, like I said, Beowulf is really nice for something specific. Uh, I am gonna grab this, uh, green orb, because, uh, free health is free health. Even though I didn't get any health. Alright, jump out of there. Back to the wagon. Imagine wagons. But yeah. Beowulf is your melee, basically, and it's just a really powerful option for a lot of things, so wait for these guys to come up. So here's what I wanted to show. Enemy step. Oh, come on. Not doing it right. There we go. So basically, as soon as you hit or collide with the enemy, okay, this is, it's not doing it for this guy. There we go. You can constantly jump and do that attack over and over again. And it is extremely powerful. Boom. Yeah. Uh, especially for this guy. And we can just keep doing it over and over again and just keep teching him. So yeah. I just haven't done it in a while, so that's why I'm bad with it right now. It is an extremely powerful tech if you know how to do it, and this is mostly a speedrunner tech. So yeah. That, I just wanted to show that because I will be using that for a lot of chess pieces later on. Uh, it, is, it is really, really good for that. Hoping I can get Trickster level 3 here soon, maybe? Maybe. Back to Hell's Highway. Uh, here we go. I believe there's another... I'm trying to remember if there's another blue orb in here. I don't think there is. Yeah, perfect example. Got the uh, horse here. Okay, stand still. Or not. Okay. If we get the other chess pieces, it's a lot easier to do. 
Because these guys like to jump around a lot. Just dodge that. They're really weak, though. Ow. They're just annoying as hell. Because they like jumping around the map. There we go. I'm getting some good hits in there, but like I said, it's harder when there's an enemy that's just constantly moving. So, yeah. Pretty easy. I believe... I th okay, I'm really... I really do think there is a blue warp around here. I can't remember if there is. I don't think there is. You got this item here. A uh, small vital star. Uh, is that a horse? Okay, yeah. I'll just do normal attacks. And then I'll show off... Uh, what's it? Right, er, rising dragon. Oh, God. Okay, really? Rising dragon. And also you got this. Okay, really? You're a dick. Man, I am not getting lucky with these. Hit you. There we go. That's what I was trying to show. Did not mean to pull devil trigger, but whatever. That's how you're supposed to do that enemy step thing. It's really easy to do. It's just, like I said, when you have enemies that constantly move all over the place, it's really damn annoying. Let's just take you out. So yeah, Beowulf is like easily my favorite weapon or devil arm in this entire game. It's so cool. Ugh. They kind of brought it back later on, but it's, I don't know, it's not the same. It's not the same. I believe this is where we gotta go next. Does this open? This one does. These ones do. Okay. And boop. So yeah, I can show enemy step for victory. So yeah, if you're planning on doing later difficulties of the game, this is definitely a skill you need to learn. This thing literally carried me through hard, very hard, and even Dante must die. It's such a nice ability that you can do, and you can do it with any weapon, technically. It's just, um, Beowulf, it's a lot more stronger. So, anyhow, uh, can't go through there. I always forget my way through this place. Can't go back there, apparently, so we go back. Uh, we go through here, right? Okay, I guess I do. Rising dragon! Just dodge over here and take you down. And some enemies, it is easier to enemy step on. Like I said, the horses are really annoying to hit because they just move around so much. And the nice thing is those, uh, was it, the little mage ones completely dodges their fire if you're on top of them, which is awesome. What is that noise? <laughs> I guess it's just the gates coming down. Okay, I'm pretty sure... Yeah, this is the way we gotta go. Oh, there is the blue orb. Okay, it just gives it to you, I guess. It's like, I remember right. So, yeah. I'm not gonna spam this throughout the whole LP. I'm not gonna just cheese bosses by doing this. Because it is overpowered as all hell. But I really just wanted to show its capabilities in... Um, okay, really. In everything... Well, everyday combat in this game. Because it's just that good of an ability. It's so dumb. Let's uh, go after the horseman. Ow. Okay. You're a dick. Try to go over here so I can dodge that fire. Fireball! And then, explosion. Dealt with that pretty easily. So yeah. Beowulf is definitely my favorite weapon of the entire game. It's just so cool. And it makes Dante look awesome. So anyway, let's head on through here. I believe this is the second to last place we're going to be at. This gives you another opportunity to go and get these... Uh, Oh, this turns into a green orb. But yeah, that's another opportunity for the uh, blue orb if you missed it. So anyway, head over here. I believe there's a new path over here. Or maybe I go back to that. I go back to the doorway. It's been a while since I did these missions, so I apologize. This is a let's play after all, not a walkthrough. And you got more of uh, these guys that have returned. Like, like I said, just shoot them with a spiral. It's just so much easier. I'm kind of hoping I can get my trickster leveled up from these guys. That's why I'm shooting all of them. Okay, so there's that guy. Come on. I really want to get trickster leveled up, damn it. 
And there is a thing I found out the other day. Let me see. So. Let me see. Yeah, you can kind of spam fire spiral if you do it right. Um, since I'm in freestyle, it, just, it doesn't really help. But um, if you have it to where it's just you only have two guns, then you can kind of swap between the guns like you did with the shotgun and constantly shoot spiral. So you can do that if you so wish. By the way, don't make the mistake of going through this doorway. I'm just killing this enigma so I can try to get some uh, XP that I need. Boink. Did not get it. Damn. It, it's got to be so close, man. Actually, can I see how close it is? Uh, no, I can't. Oh, wait, no. Wait, 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 wait. Status. Equip. Ah, oh, damn, I can't. Okay. I would have to go and find another one of those statues, but we're not going to find one here. Well, actually, maybe. Let's go through the portal. And look at this. We're all the way back to the Love Planet place. Don't bother going all the way back to the, uh, well, broken down shop because there's nothing there for you. Back to 13th Avenue. Uh, okay, yeah, the statue's just completely gone. You got some orbs up here, though, which I'll gladly take. And let's go finish off the mission. What the hell was that bike made out of? Jesus. Any standard bike would have just exploded immediately. Uh, seeing style, legend orbs, but hey, and, A, and damage, and S, and everything else. But, uh, yeah, not too shabby. Took down Virgil and got his weapons as a result. So, next time on Devil May Cry 3, I guess we'll see what happens from here on forth. I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.